if there's one film, it'll have to be Underground by uh, Emil Kusturica. Um, this is a film that was made in 1995. It won the Palme d'Or in 97. I remember the screening that I went for. The, when I went for this film, there was a um, FTI used to have this um, screening for the ex students in Bombay. You know, they used to hold it in. And that time it was in Bhaidas Hall in one of the upper sort of like small rooms. It was a 21, 21 inch TV and they were playing off a VHS and there must have been about 50 people watching this film on this 21 inch TV. And I'm walking in and I'm saying, and I've heard of this film underground, it's you know, this, that, the other. And I walk in and the screening starts and this film is about 2 hours and 46 minutes long and it's riveting. <laughs> The film is about uh, two friends in uh, Belgrade in uh, what is about to be World War II, the bombing of the city starts. And these guys are they're thieves. They go out at night and there's a band that follows them all the time playing crazy music. They get drunk all the time. Um, they both fall in love with the same girl. And the war eventually hits, World War II hits Belgrade. Vibane! Golpe! The premise is our one of the friends betrays the other and sends him underground to live in a bunker with a whole bunch of other people while he stays up with the girl. Moya sir. Hoppa. Da. And what he does is that every day after that he plays a siren for them that the the war has begun and he marries his girl on top and he keeps them underground for 40 years. They think that the Great War has never ended, that the Great War has still been going on all the time and they're making arms for him, so he becomes an arm dealer. And it's a comedy. This film is an, it's an outrageous comedy, it's a musical, it's a tragedy. Um, you have, and when they eventually come back above ground, it's the time of the Bosnian War, so they actually feel that the Great War actually never ended. There is a moment, for example, when towards the end of the film, these guys have been underground for 40 years. And uh, father and son, you know, the guy who's, who's the friend who was put underground, he comes out and his son is with him. And they, they come outside and it's night time and they're standing outside and the son looks up and looks at the moon and says, is that the sun? And the father just looks at the boy and, you know, it's just the moment over there. And when you know this moment is coming, there's that sense of that sudden pathos that comes and yet that scene is treated like a comic scene. <laughs> and I remember why the reason that film changed my life is because I walked in, at that point in time, I had had some sort of, you know, I had seen Bergman's movies and I had seen um, Fellini's movies and um, Kurosawa and, you know, and I'd seen the masters and I'd seen Bimal Roy's film. So I had a sense of what, you know, what world cinema was. And this film just completely took me by shock because there was a sense of that you can make an epic uh, and have it topical, that it talks about war and talks about the atrocities of war and it talks about, you know, how people may take advantage of other people in war. And yet it's a comedy and yet it's something you laugh at. And yet it's almost like a family film in a weird sort of way. And it's far, far superior to Life is Beautiful. <laughs> Prostite Bogu, al zaboravim. Ogatom! 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 Ogatom!